So today I want to visit the concept of the DAO, the Deorganized Autonomous Organization. So you might have heard this word pop up once or twice when you're looking at Ethereum and when you're looking at some other cryptocurrencies such as Decred. What I'm going to talk about is what is a DAO, so what is the concept of DAO, and also the advantages and disadvantages of DAO. So let's start with what is the Decentralized Autonomous Organization. It's exactly what it sounds it is. It's what happens when you take a company, well, you form a company, and you kind of remove all the directors and leaders and everyone there, and you let issues be voted on by directly by the shareholders. So this is something that currently Google and Apple and every other publicly traded company do. They, if you own Google shares, you actually get to vote on issues. So once in a while, you actually receive a kind of voting form in the mail and um, you get to vote on kind of director changes and kind of, kind of key issues with the company. So this is kind of very crude. You know, receiving something in the mail and then taking in a vote and then verifying your identity, it's very crude. So Bitcoin, kind of not Bitcoin, they, they improved this with the blockchain technology. So they try to say, you know what, we can solve this with blockchain. We, every owner of say Ethereum can prove their ownership of said stake and just vote directly online. So you kind of simplify the process down to something that's much faster. And that's what the decentral, uh, that's what the DAO actually is. It's an organization without leadership, an organization that's formed that decides on what to do based on direct votes from the shareholders. And this is only possible with modern technology. So instead of mailing out votes, you actually just verify your state holding a stake and immediately vote on an issue, which means you can collect votes almost near immediately or over a few days instead of over months. So one example of this is with Dash. Um, you get a, they vote on kind of community projects and their stakeholders or master nodes get to vote on which ones they think they it will pass and money can get designated to certain projects such as maybe making a new website or making a series of YouTube videos or um, installing some ATMs in a certain state. So any user can propose issues and stakeholders get to vote on it and their vote, the amount of voting power to get determined is directly correlated with how much they, of the company they own. And this makes sense because this kind of prevents the two things. One is that the more you own, the more you have a stake in things and the more you care about it. So hopefully your vote will be kind of representative of what's best, what you believe is best for a company. And also it prevents fake votes where, you know, opposing companies can vote on certain issues to kind of block certain uh, progress from happening. So it's a very novel concept and it's been tried a few times in digital currency. So the most famous example of the DAO is with Ethereum, where the DAO project got like almost 14% of the world's Ethereum at that certain time. Obviously, there were certain problems with the system and certain problems with the programming that led it to be hacked. But that's not related to how this concept works. The concept is kind of still holding up and there are other currencies trying that today. So, like I said, one of the famous examples is Decred. Decred wants to be a fully autonomous organization where the community decides what to do with funds and with future projects and with the direction of Decred in the future. So. That's actually kind of a very cool concept for me, and I want to say the advantages and the disadvantages. So first of all, the biggest advantage is that there's no wastage of funds. So every stakeholder can participate in the voting process, well, depending on how the company is set up. But that means that every project is technically, funds aren't misappropriated by personal means, by personal greed. So, that's probably one thing that could happen potentially in a company where a director would choose to do a project because they can benefit from it, you know, in the form of bribes or whatnot. But with a DAO, that's not possible because you have to convince the whole community to go for that project. And the other advantages is transparency. So, I mean, 
with the whole open source software movement, transparency is becoming more and more important. And the ability to kind of verify what's happening is very important for kind of this transparency and this kind of general well running of the company. That said, there are, of course, a few issues. I mean, if you're transparent, that means you're gonna lack the you're gonna lack a competitive edge because everything that you do is now open. Every recipe that you have is now public, or every direction and every secret plan is now voted on by the everyone every holder of the company, which kind of means that you don't have any secret plans or you know interesting ways to outmaneuver competition. And we even see that with um, open source software. So with open source software, a lot of currencies are based on open source software. They open their code for the community to audit and for to grow with. But that leads to some problems. For example, Pivx is a fork of Dash. So Pivx used a lot of Dash's code to form a new currency. And that, that actually means you gave a, your competitive advantage away to another currency, which, you know, in the long run, that might not be a good thing for you because you did all that hard work developing a lot of the critical systems necessary and someone can just directly build on top of that and make it even better. I mean, obviously one argument is that you should always be better than everyone. Like you should always strive to be um, better and improve your product more so you're always ahead of the competition, but that might not always be the case. Another thing is with, if you cut the leadership up, that means with a decentralized, with a DAO, if you don't have leaders, that's going to be a big issue because every company should have leaders. I mean, not every stakeholder wants to kind of manage a company. You know, some people just probably want to trust in the leadership. For example, when you take a look at Apple, Apple has a very strong leadership. They have a strong idea of where they want to go and their shareholders definitely trust the leaders of Apple. So. You know, in that sense, by removing leaders, you're removing a lot of direction and insight that, you know, might not be easily obtained. So that's kind of some views on the DAO. So I hope this kind of idea would progress forward and we we'll hopefully see some currencies adopted. I think for currencies, it makes a lot of sense for something like Decred or, or even something like Dash. But for a company, I don't know. I, what do you guys think? Do you guys feel that having a transparent system is the best with voting? Or do you guys feel that you would trust in the leadership of someone amazing? <laughs>